Assalamu alaikum my dear students and welcome to another English virtual lesson of class 2 which is being assembled by our school metropolitan. Before starting our today's lesson make sure that you have your English book, text and grammar copy and all the necessities of stationery you would need today. So today's exercise is all about pronoun. Let me first tell you what is a pronoun. Pronoun is that word which we use instead of a noun. Because in one sentence, we don't have to use the noun again and again and again. So, we use different words which are called pronouns. So, here is the first person, second person and third person distribution of pronoun. First person, <coughs> we use I, me, my, my, myself, we, are, us and so many more, right? We don't repeat the names of the person again and again and again. In second person, we use your, yours, you and yourself. And in the last third person, we use he, his, him, she, her, they, them and their. Have you all listened to me carefully? You can clearly see it, right? So, now we are going to use these pronouns in the exercise as well. As you can see, example number one is done in front of you that Uncle Omar is saying, I love my crocodiles because the crocodiles are Uncle Omar's possession, right? They are his crocodiles. So, let me clear you with this thing. My, your, his, her, their and are are the pronouns which we are going to use in this exercise. Okay? Let's begin. Then, uncle, in Uncle Omar's reply, Auntie Farida said, Well, I don't like dash crocodiles. Please take them away. What are we going to use in this line? We are going to use your. Okay? Now, then, Uncle Omar asked Miss Auntie Farida, why? Then Auntie Farida said, Grandma is afraid that they will eat her cat. Because here we are talking about the third person. First person is Uncle Umar. Uncle Umar is talking with Auntie Farida about Grandma. Okay? That's why Grandma became the third person. And this is why we use her. After that, Uncle Umar replied, Nonsense. After, uh, Auntie Farida said, Grandpa thinks they will frighten away dash friends. As you all can see, just like grandma, here grandpa is the third person. But here he is the male, right? And for male we use he or his. So we are going to use here his friends. Then Angar Umar replied to Auntie Sarita, the crocodiles stay in dash pond, which means they stay in their pond because the pond belongs to the crocodiles. So the pronoun which we are going to use in this blank is their. Then Aruti Farida said, we don't like crocodiles in dash garden. As we all know that every house has a garden, right? So the garden belongs to the family of Uncle Umar and Auntie Farida. So we are going to use our over here. Because she is talking about her garden. Okay? Then in the last, Uncle Umar said, it's dash garden too. Because here... Uncle Omar is saying that the garden belongs him too because he lives in that home as well. So he said, it's my garden too. 
After doing the book exercise, now it's time for us to start our grammar exercise. So my dear students, take out your grammar copies and open up the page. We are going to do exercise A of page number 7. And in this exercise, my dear students, we first have to find 7 sentences from this paragraph. And then we first have to write capital letters at the beginning of the sentence. And then mark a full stop at the end of the sentence. Just like this. Look at the example. I have one sister and one brother. So, first we have to put a capital letter. We have to change the alphabet into capital form. Okay? And by the end of this sentence, we have to put a full stop. The paragraph is, My sister's name is Sarah. She likes reading. Okay? My brother's name is Ali. He likes playing on his computer. Our friend's name is Tom. He likes riding his bicycle. Okay? We have completed the reading of the paragraph. Now we have to change it by this thing. Okay? First of all, this is the very first alphabet of the sentence. So here we have turned it into capital M. Okay? And the very first sentence is done by the book. We have to find six sentences and then change it. The first sentence is, my sister's name is Sarah. Okay? So first we will turn M into the capital form and put a full stop after Sarah. Then the paragraph is saying, she likes reading ma. Reading. So, the first alphabet is S. So, we have changed the form of S to capital one. Okay? And put a full stop by the end. Then, my brother's name is Ali. This is another sentence. So, in the same manner, we have changed the M form and put it into the capital. And we have marked a full stop by the end of the sentence. After that comes the sentence, he likes playing on his computer, right? So the first alphabet should be capital. So here we have written it down in the capital form. And by the end we have put a full stop. Just like the same thing, our friend's name is Tom. This is another sentence. So we have turned the small o into its capital form. And put a full stop by the end. And the last sentence is, he likes riding his bicycle. Okay? So, H will be in the capital form. And by the end, we have put a full stop. I guess you all have understood what you have to do. You have to just do it like this in your grammar copy. So, my dear students, as we are done with unit number one, Let's move forward and start our unit number 2, okay? So today we are going to read unit 2, lesson 3, which is the Black Kites, part 1. So hurry up, go and grab your books, open page number 12 so that we can start reading. Okay, let me first read it to you, then I'll explain it, okay? Tariq lived in a tall walk of flats in Lahore. He had three kites. One kite was blue with yellow tail. One kite was orange with white tail. And the last one was green with, sorry, red with green tail. Tariq liked the red one best. You, which kite he liked the best? The red one. Please, will you help me fly my kite, Dad? He asked. Well, I'll try, his father smiled, but I'm not good at flying kites. Let's go up to the roof. They took the kites up to the roof. Oh, look, said his father. There's Mr. Riaz, he's reading. 
Don't make too much noise or he'll be angry. Mr. Riaz was sitting on a mat. He did not look at Tarik and his father. Tarik took the blue kite first. It went up, then it fell down. They tried again. At last, the, <clears throat> the kite flew up into the sky. Well done, said Tarik's father. The blue kite looked lovely. At that moment, a black kite appeared. Tarik saw a tall boy wearing a purple cap on the roof of the flat next door. He was laughing. Please don't cut down my car, Tarik shouted. Don't shout, said his father. Mr. Riaz will be angry. Pull the string. The tall boy laughed again. He cut down Tarik's blue kite with his black one. Down it fell, down into the streets below. Don't worry, said Tarik's father. Let's fly the orange kite. First it went up, then it fell down. They tried again. At last, the kite flew up into the sky. Well done, said Tarik's father. It looked lovely, but then the black kite appeared. Oh no, shouted Tarik. Please don't cut down my kite. Please, please. Don't shout, his father said. Mr. Riaz will be angry. Pull the string. The tall boy laughed. He cut down Tarik's orange kite with his black one. Down it fell, down into the streets below. Oh dear, Tarik cried. Now I have got only one guy and I like the red one best. Shh, don't cry, said Tarik's father. Come here, said a voice behind them. They turned around and it was Mr. Riaz. That's the end of part one, my dear students. Let me explain the chapter to you. In this chapter, there is a boy named Tare. He wants to fly kite with his father. So, they both went upstairs to fly the kite. First, he took the blue one. But then a boy next door means the boy who is his neighbor came and cut down Tare's first kite with his black one. Then his father said, don't worry, we can fly another one. So they flew the other kite, but then again that boy came and cut down his the next one as well. At the end he was so upset because he was only he was left with only one kite. And it was his favorite, right? As we know the red one was Tarik's favorite. The red one was Tarik's favorite kite. So he was so concerned about it. Then suddenly his father shouted that shh, you will wake Mr. Riaz up and he will be so angry, right? Suddenly they heard a sound behind them. Come here. So they turned around and it was Mr. Riaz. That was the end of part one. Now my dear students, we have to write some difficult words of this unit. So after the reading we have to write some difficult words of unit number two. So copy down these words in your text copy my dear students. Number one is B-L-O-C-K block. B-L-O-C-K block. Number two is L-A-H-O-R-E Lahore. L-A-H-O-R-E Lahore. Third one is K-I-T-E-S, kites. K-I-T-E-S, kites. Fourth one is S-M-I-L-E-D, smiled. Fifth one is A-P-P-E-A-R-E-D, appeared. After that, M-O-M-E-N-T Moment L-A-U-G-H-E-D Laughed S-H-O 
U T E D. Shout it. C R I E D. Cried. T U R N E D. Turned. Let me repeat these words again. Flock. Lahore. Kites. Smiled. Appeared. Moment. Laughed. Shouted. Cried. And the last one is turned. So my dear students, as we have completed, completed the difficult words, now it's time to start our exercise. So open up your books. First you have to fill it in book. Then you all have to copy it down from your book to your text copy. Okay? So the page number is 30. Hurry up, open up your books. And we are going to do exercise B. In this exercise, we have to circle the correct word in each sentence. There are a few sentences which are related to the chapter we have learned. Okay, we have read the chapter before, right? And now we have to circle it. Which one is the right answer? So, Tarek had how many guides? Two, three or four? Tarek had four, three guides. Okay, we have to circle it like this. Next one is, he liked the dash one best. Which kite he liked the best? Red one, blue one or the orange one? Tarek liked the red one best. After this, his father was dash good at flying kites. Was his father very good? Quite good or not good? His father was not good at flying kites, but still they tried to fly kite, okay? Number three, Mr. Riaz was dash, shouting, reading, or running. Mr. Riaz was reading. A tall boy was flying a dash kite. Which kite cut down Tarek's kite? The black one. So the tall boy was flying the black kite. He cut down dash of Tarek's kites. How many kites did he cut down? He cut down two of Tarek's kite. He felt very dash. At the end, how was Tarek feeling? He was Sad because he lost two of his kites. That's all for today, my dear students. We have completed two exercises of grammar. One was in our book, the other was in our grammar copy. After that, we learned, sorry, we read unit number two. And before doing the exercise in difficult words, don't forget to make title page of unit number two. So my dear students, at the end of the lesson, we are going to do general knowledge. The question number one is, where is Shah Faisal Mosque? Shah Faisal Mosque is in Islamabad. Question number two is, which city is called the city of lights? The answer is Karachi. The last question is, which city is called the heart of Pakistan? And the answer is Lahore. Let's repeat one more time. Where is Shah Faisal Mosque? It is located in Islamabad. Which city is called the city of lights? Karachi is called the city of lights. Which city is called the heart of Pakistan? Lahore is called the heart of Pakistan. That's all for today's lesson. Hope to see you in the next class. Allah Hafiz.